When preparing to load or unload a truck, trailer, or railroad car, it is important that the truck or trailer be secured in a fixed position. This is not only a good safety practice, the law also requires it. Before entering trailers or railroad cars with the forklift, check the floor for structural weaknesses. Don't drive in or out of trailers or railroad cars unless the brakes are set and the wheels are blocked or restrained. When the trailer is blocked or restrained, it is less likely to creep away from the loading dock, which can lead to a serious accident. Vehicle restraints are another loading dock safety feature. Loading dock vehicle restraints help prevent trucks and trailers from leaving the dock when the forklift is entering or exiting the trailer. If possible, block the wheels for extra safety. Landing gear should be used when loading or unloading trailers. Using the landing gear helps prevent tip-over and upending accidents. This can occur when the trailer becomes unbalanced due to the loading or unloading of heavy payloads. Forklifts and pedestrians are a dangerous combination. According to the National Traumatic Occupational Fatality Surveillance System, more than 35% of the forklift fatalities that occurred from 1980 to 1994 were the result of accidents involving forklifts and pedestrians. Therefore, forklift traffic areas should be separated from pedestrian traffic areas, preferably with a physical barrier. It is also important that all employees receive safety training about the dangers of working near forklifts. Forklift drivers should never drive up to anyone standing in front of a fixed object. The pedestrian could be crushed between the forklift and the object. Similarly, no employee should stand, work, or pass under the elevated part of a forklift, loaded or unloaded. All forklift drivers should use their horns to alert other employees when they are in the proximity of pedestrians. If the ambient noise level in the workplace is high, then the forklifts must be equipped with flashing lights to alert employees about the presence of forklifts in the area. Fueling and battery charging are routine tasks that the forklift operator must perform. To ensure safety, it is important that all forklift operators follow the correct fueling and battery charging procedures at all times. When fueling the forklift with propane or gasoline, keep these safety tips in mind. Never fill the fuel tank while the engine is running or if the engine is hot or smoking. Make sure that all fuels are away from ignition sources and never smoke when fueling the forklift or when a fuel source is nearby. Each time the forklift is fueled, the appropriate personal protective equipment should be used. Forklifts should only be fueled in designated fueling areas. Designated fueling areas must be equipped with a fire extinguisher and should be well lit, clean, and safely ventilated. Before charging the batteries on the forklift, read the manufacturer's instruction manual. Wear the correct personal protective equipment for the job. Battery charging stations should be clean, free from ignition sources, and well ventilated. To help protect the employee in the event that battery fluids splash near the eyes or on the skin, an emergency eye wash and shower station must be located no more than a 10-second walk from the battery charging area. Forklift operators need to be vigilant when working in enclosed spaces. Special safety precautions need to be followed to avoid potentially serious injuries. Forklift operators should avoid prolonged use of a gas or liquid propane forklift when in an enclosed space. Some examples of potential enclosed spaces include cold storage rooms, trailers, railroad cars, and warehouses. Extended use of gas or propane forklifts in enclosed areas is dangerous and may lead to a buildup of carbon monoxide gas. Carbon monoxide gas 
which is emitted in the forklift's exhaust, is dangerous because it displaces oxygen in the air. A forklift operator who is exposed to high levels of carbon monoxide gas may become ill due to a lack of oxygen. Carbon monoxide gas is odorless, tasteless, and colorless. To help avoid poisoning from carbon monoxide in enclosed work areas, use electric forklifts or use properly placed carbon monoxide detection monitors in enclosed spaces where forklifts are used. Forklifts were designed to make the workplace more productive, but they need to be operated safely and efficiently to achieve this goal. Safe and efficient operation of a forklift requires training, skill, and practice. Please consider implementing and following the safety training tips and techniques you have learned from this video. They were designed to improve the safety awareness of the forklift operator in the workplace. If there is an item you need clarified or need to discuss, ask your foreman or supervisor. Thanks for watching.